Yo, what is good, Mugiwaras? It is Mugiwara Matt B here today to give you guys uh, a live reaction to One Piece manga chapter 795. Um, I was supposed to do a live stream today, but you know, uh, things came up, so I'm just kicking this out early in the morning. Um, so yeah, it's live reaction. Got my phone right here. Already got the chapter up. And let's get this show on the road because people have just been going crazy. I had to actually turn my fucking phone off last night um, because my buddies were talking about the chapter in the group chat. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go do this. The chapter's titled Suicide. Uh. All right. A little late night gambling in Dress Rosa. Okay. So everybody was um, talking about last chapter, and last chapter, uh, Fujitora wanted to go after Luffy and Law, so he was going to go after Luffy and Law, um, but he rolled a one, so he's like, fuck it. Now we're to the Royal Palace, and it's still nighttime. Um, let's see, Rebecca. So all the straw hats are missing, supposedly. Well, goddamn. <laughs> It's about fucking time. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so it says the next day, the New World, the Sunny Curly Hat team. Um, now, I just want everybody to be keeping tally that uh, this tea party that's supposed to happen, we've, I think it's been four days now since Fishman Island. It's four or three days, one of the two since Fishman Island, so uh, the tea party is happening soon, very, very soon, actually. Um, we finally fucking see Sanji, Caesar Clown, Chopper, and they are okay. And Sanji still has Caesar Clown's heart. Nice. <sighs> I'm getting antsy. Okay, so who the fuck are these people? They're on an island. Um, hopefully it's Zoe, so hopefully we run into fucking Beppo soon. Nami has to save the Devil Fruit users. That's new. I don't know why Sanji didn't, though. Brooks putting in work. Brooks putting in work against whoever the hell this is. Sheep's Horn, Soul Parado. And then Sanji comes through with that kick.
Um, I'm gonna do the sign. The samurai is not here. Okay. Um, so they're looking for Kinemon, I'm assuming. They're either looking for Kinemon or uh, his friend. I can't remember his friend's name. Because um, they said something about a samurai. So... That's just... Ay, ay, ay. Kid Pirate Crew Base. We jumping that far ahead, Oda? Alright, I'm game. Let's do it. What was that? An earthquake. Mm. Oh. It's an explosion. Take arms. What's the status over there? Report. There's a huge hole. And it looks like the strong live and the weak die. That is the only law of this world. And it's it's the shape of a person. If I remember correctly, isn't there a legend about the Sky Islands and these parts on which monsters may or may not live? So you're telling me something got thrown off of Sky Island and ended up here? Captain, the impact just now caused one of our ships to sink. The fuck? And to go on Sky Island. Is that a rouge? This person was searching for a place to die. As for the man himself, as a pirate, he suffered seven defeats. Captured by his enemies or the Marines a total of 18 times. Tortured endlessly, he lived life as a criminal. This man just committed suicide. A sort of suicide you don't see every day. Suicide by jumping off a sky island. And we now return to the present. So he jumped. Oh God. Allow me to repeat myself. This man alone challenged and was captured by the Navy and Yonko 18 times. Tortured over 1,000. Forty times he was given the death sentence. They tried to hang him. The chain simply broke. They tried to guillotine him. The blade simply shattered. They tried to skewer him. The spear simply snapped. This man alone sunk nine mammoth prison ships. In other words... Next page. No one could kill this man. Wait, what's going on? And that included the man himself. Fuck. My head is bumping. I guess I really don't die, eh? His hobbies include attempting suicide. He goes by the name... Finally, finally, the last, the last one has been revealed. Oh, fuck. What am I at? Ten minutes? Fuck it. Let's go ten more minutes. Um, okay. The, f fuck reading the rest of the chapter. This man's design. Okay. Like. And guys, I'm sorry that I can't like jump in and, and scream and all of that shit. My daughter is asleep right now. Um, okay.
Okay. Uh, fuck it. Let me just read the rest of the chapter. 100 Beast Kaido. And then I'll, I'll, I'll start a little discussion. Um, 100 Beast Kaido. I lived again. Oh, for crying out loud. You know what? Let me just say something. Let me just say something before I finish. That, that had to be probably the best or one of the best introductions in One Piece in a long time. Um, I want to say the best since like Kizaru and Rayleigh. So those are top, like this right here, this like, ah, my goodness. And he's fucking huge. Like, this motherfucker might be bigger than fucking Whitebeard. And he looks fucking devastating. Like, all right. 100 Beast Kaido. Um, he's gone and done it now, that old Whitebeard. People often say of others, if you took him... If you took him on one on one, he's a Kaido. For the land, sea, and sky, among all the living things that crawl, swim, and fly this earth, this pirate is known as the strongest living creature. Looks like I ain't got no other choice. And a Pooh, Kid, and Basil Hawkins. Like, look just fucking, like, w like, they have no idea what the fuck they're going to do. God damn it, hurry the hell up, Joker. Get everything ready for our last battle. A world this mundane isn't worth keeping around. Time to light the match to the greatest war this world has ever seen. An overwhelming out... Okay, I'm at 12 minutes, so we're, we're just going to keep the good times rolling. Just keep the good times rolling. Um, okay, man, okay. The, God, I wish I could do a live stream. I really do. I really, really, really do. Um, okay, so we see Kaido. We see Sanji. Um, the straw hats aren't in, uh, or aren't in the palace anymore. Um, and Fujitora was going to go after Luffy and Law, but he didn't because he rolled the dice. Okay. So with that being said, that's just the brief summary of the chapter. Now, l let me just talk about Kaido. Okay. Let me talk about this. <sighs> All right. I, 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 I can't even like gather my thoughts. Okay, so it says that he can't die. He can't, uh, he, he can't, he, he's tried to kill himself over and over and over again. He can't die. Um, so, this gets me thinking, and I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be the only one to say this because, you know, we're, we're all reading the same shit. If this motherfucker can't die, and they've attempted to kill him, or, he, like, he just jumped 10,000 meters, um, there has to be something more to it than, uh, you know, just this massive body that he can't die. Um... And, and the fucking impact of him falling from the ground, or, or falling from falling from the ground, falling from the Sky Island, ten thousand meters above the land, uh, it it sank a fucking ship. The impact did. So, what if the Ope Ope no Me was you? The, the the immortality shit was used on Kaido, 
And maybe that's why maybe that's why Don Flamingo wanted the Op Op no me. So that he could maybe he the only way you can counter the immortality of it is with the fruit itself. So that could explain why Law wants to go after Kaido and and not, you know, one of the other Yonko. I mean, I, I feel like at this point, you're trying to go up against any of the Yonko, you're you're fucking dead. You're you're just done. And and let's not even let, let's not forget that fucking people that are going after Shanks are right in front of this guy. And and speaking of Shanks, if Shanks went and stopped him from going to Marine Ford, how fucking strong is Shanks? Now, the, the the strongest living creature, like that that can be interpreted in so many different ways. So My God, I can't, I just, I can't, I, I, I cannot deal right now. His design is just nasty. And I got to be, you know, I, I, I have to tell you, I didn't think that Kaido was going to look like this. I thought he was going to like be like goofy looking or something, you know, just because that's what, Oda, that's what Oda would do, but, you know, with the Yonko, I gotta say, Oda, you kept the designs pretty fucking good, P pretty fucking good, Whitebeard, Kaido, they look like fucking brothers, Shanks, just badass, you know, the scars and all that, and then, uh, Big Man, she's just a big fucking blob of Big Man, um, like, it looks like he has some kind of fucking scale, or yeah, scales or something. But they look like tattoos. Um, I'm assuming that they're tattoos. Uh, the motherfucker has horns. Um, his hair, the, the the beard, like this motherfucker looks bad ass, like to the core. He has a fucking scar right here. Whoever the fuck gave him that, or maybe he gave himself that by trying to kill himself. Um, dude, this is this is fucking great. This is amazing. Um, so now, now it's just like where, like where do we go from here? Uh, are we gonna are 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 we gonna keep you know are are we gonna keep our focus right here and are we gonna see Kaido in action? Or are we just going to go back to, like, Luffy and Law, wherever the fuck they are? Or Like, there's so many things that we can do right now. And one more thing about this chapter. So those people that were looking for the samurai, whenever it showed that guy's, uh, whatever that was on him, I, whew, I'm assuming that was... A Jolly Roger or something, and as soon as we ship, as soon as it zoomed in on his Jolly Roger, we go over to the introduction of Kaido. So maybe that's like, you know, maybe those people are related to Kaido or they're part of his crew, something. And why are they looking for uh for Kinemon? And I mean, it would all make sense because Kinemon freaked the fuck out whenever Kaido was mentioned. Or whenever Law and uh, whenever Law said that they're going after Kaido, um, Kinemon freaked the fuck out. So, I, like, I'm assuming that Kaido has some type of ties to uh, to Wano Kuni. And another thing, another thing, this nigga Kaido is just walking around by himself. Every time we've seen a Yonko, they have been surrounded by their crewmate. Kaido's walking around by himself. Shanks always with his crew. Whitebeard was always with his crew. Big Mam was on her little base, on her own island, surrounded by her crew members. This nigga don't give a fuck. He, like, oh my goodness. Um, 
so m my thing is, I think Wano Kuni is definitely going to be the next arc. Definitely. I mean, we might be on Zo for a little while. Um, wait, wait for the rendezvous of the Straw Hats. Uh, but after that, I mean, they got to go to... I mean, this is just being set up so nice for Wano Kuni. Um, I just, I, I'm at a loss for words. Like I really am. This is, uh, definitely a great chapter. Like we finally get to see Sanji after, it's been almost two years, I believe. Um, the last time we saw Sanji was... I think it was like the last chapter of the year in 2013, and we're in 2015 now, a year and a half later. Oh my goodness, finally, but we don't know what happened with Big Mam and Sanji, or, and you gotta give my man a chance to put in his work. So. Fuck, man. Fuck. I just, I, I, I don't, I don't know what, the only thing, the only thing that would just make me jizz my pants everywhere, no, I was about to end the discussion, um, because, and I was about to say what would make me jizz my pants everywhere is like seeing everybody's like bounties and stuff go up. Okay. Kaido said something about let me let me read this shit again. Let me read this shit because the, and I'm assuming that he has not gotten word that Don Flamingo got his ass whooped. God damn it. Hurry the hell up, Joker. Get everything ready for our last battle. A world this mundane isn't worth keeping around. Time to light the match to the greatest war this world has ever seen. So, he says, get everything ready for our last battle. I'm assuming that's like, hey, get this, uh, get these smiles ready, send these over to me, uh, or send these over to my people, and then, like, get your preparations ready so we, so, like, we're ready to go to war. But Don Flamingo's done. He's, like he's in marine hands and kaido i i think that since don flamingo is in the marines hands now and kaido won't be able to let his wrath out on don flamingo he's gonna focus his wrath on the people that fucking put don flamingo down and like what war is he talking about what what war is he talking about and what the fuck does he want to do? So now there's not like a shrewd. Well, no, there is kind of a shrewd mystery around Kaido because we don't know why he's immortal or why he can't die. We don't know what war he's starting. Um, and then we don't know what the fuck he's going to do about these people in front of him. And I don't I, I can't see I can't see kid or maybe kid Basil Hawkins in a pool would, you know, just be like, uh, yo, um, let me like let's work together so that we can take down Shanks in an attempt to save their ass. Maybe that's what they'll do. But dude, like this here, I just don't. I I I think that we're about to get to a point in One Piece to where there's about to start being like chapter after chapter after chapter after chapter that is just about to be lit. Like, that's about to be fucking crazy. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just at a loss for words. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Um, just please, please let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to be doing a live stream. I, you know, things came up today. Uh, I'll, I will do the live stream. I will. I will do this live stream before the next chapter comes out because there's so much to talk about. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.
I'm going to go uh, jizz over this chapter some more, talk to some people about it, and, uh, you know, just, it's been a great fucking day for One Piece. Peace out, you guys.